This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! New tips unlocked! There are more than four perpetrators and search notice. I think it would more just be <laughs> achievement unlocked, not a clue. I think the pregnancy test would be more just like, haha, it's gonna be embarrassing because you're gonna have to, uh, you and Rena together are buying a pregnancy test, so the person who's reining you up is gonna think that you got her pregnant. Because this is before they had self checkout. There are more than four perpetrators? Yikes. Some of Tomotake's fingernails had been pulled out. Fingernails actually rip off surprisingly easily. Uh, I don't want to think about it, but it really hurts. Yeah, no bedsheet, Sherlock. Under nor normal circumstances, the pain would prevent you from completely pulling them out. Yes. Also, there were a lot of bruises on Tomotake's body. It's clear from the shape of them that he was assaulted first by someone. Or a group of people. Bumpitsubutsukaramite.Hotokewa.Kyokudo.Kofunjo.Tainiatanoa.Machigai.Nainu.Lewa.Lantu.Nate.Kofunno.Amari.Jibunno.Nodo.Hikaki.Dashita.
過去にこんな例はないんだからな期待はしませんよですが結果を楽しみにしてますおいさん課長が呼んでるっすすみませんではまた来年お会いしましょうおおいいお年をのあれサーチノーティスレッツゴーとディスワン I love looking at the ceiling. Jiro Tomatake, deceased. Resided in a cheap hotel in Shishibone City. Registered under the name Jiro Tomatake. Pen name. Travels via folding bike. No license. The bicycle was found 300 meters away, abandoned at the side of a forest path. President on the day of, present on the, day of the festival. Accompanied by the missing Mio Takano. Oh, was that the girl's name? Missing, aka she killed him and ran off. Was seen around 9 p.m. by police. Location afterwards unknown. Held residence in Hinamizawa for one week each season for the last five to six years. Freelance photographer specializing in wild birds. Check with magazine companies. Nothing suspicious in the film located among the articles of the deceased. Wallet was among the articles of the deceased. Mere act of violence. From the contents of his wallet, he spent most of his time around Tokyo and Chiba. Along the Sobu National Railway Line? That would have been great to have said the、uh, Sakaki、uh, Railroad Line. But I don't know, maybe I, this may have come out before Fruit of Grisea. No individual matching the name of Jiro Tomatake in the residency records of any of the Tokyo wards. Compare teeth to dental records. Send to Metro Police. Attach a photo. Send to Metro Police. Contact ma magazines regarding Jiro Tomatake. Mio Takano, missing. Nurse at Erie Clinic. She's a nurse, huh? I do not want her to be my nurse. Became close to Tomatake through a, her passion for wild bird photography. Resides in Okinomiya X District Redacted. Single. Witness to company in Tomatake on the festival grounds. Currently missing. Oh, I thought they were dating. Abducted? Or maybe a suspect. I would lean towards that. An important person of interest. Had no motive to kill the deceased. Squabble from jealousy. Need to thoroughly investigate their relationship. Place of work, etc. Need to get information from the police on scene again. I want some cream puffs. Four jumbo ones. Uishi. Yeah, they said there was no drug. If he was, like, on a really, really heavy, like, psychedelic drug trip, then maybe it could un I could understand him clawing his throat out. But man, that, those would have to be some, like, hardcore drugs he was using. Also, he was completely sane for the whole night up to that point. So he must have, like, left immediately taken, like, a whole bunch of heroin or, like, methamphetamine or some kind of hallucinogens and then just, like, And、that's how it was. <laughs> Now we get the happy music. <laughs> I know you were talking about illegal drugs. Da, 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 da. Sleepy. That is the name of one of the seven dwarves. I am usually awake once it's time to eat, but it doesn't look like I can do it today. <laughs> That's what you get for watching the late, late movie. For your information, <laughs> they were showing every single episode of Tom and Jerry. I had to watch them all. <laughs> Tom and Jerry is timeless, Sudoku. How dare you? I feel called out, Keiji. Even if the first part is true, Rika, that doesn't mean the second part is true. Rika not patting my head it only made me feel worse. <laughs> the best lunch is sleep. Oh, 
<sighs> I personally wouldn't fall asleep in front of these people. With friends like these, you know how they, what they say. This is just dreadful. Just so sleepy. I slumped my head onto the desk and drifted off into an afternoon nap. It seemed that Satoko had responded, but I pretended not to hear. Thank you, Rena. Rena's the real winner here. Rika also seems like a winner, but she's also 10. Rika chan really is a good girl. <laughs> Rika's the real bro. I take that back. The excuse that I didn't sleep much last night because I was watching TV was a lie. I was in bed at the usual time, but. Because of the conversation with Uishi-san that afternoon, I didn't get much sleep. Just spending the day like this. It's almost as if the incident with Tomotake-san didn't happen at all. It made me think, was Uishi-san just trying to deceive me? But it was probably the truth. You didn't even see his police badge. So, I mean, for all you know, he could just be an old dude who's just like, Hey, kid, want to get in my car? Oh, yeah, this random guy died. <laughs> One thing was certain, I couldn't speak to anyone about it. He wanted my assistance, but I really didn't know anything about it. If I knew I wasn't going to be of any help, I probably wouldn't have listened in the first place. It ended up with me, again, regretting learning something I didn't need to know. If I had never learned about it, I would, without a doubt, be goofing off with the rest of them right now. I couldn't help but resent Oisi-san for this. <laughs> Mion whispered to keep others from listening, but I could hear it clearly. On the other hand, Rena's voice was even harder to pick up. But I could still tell that she was quite upset. It couldn't be. Are they talking about Tomotake-san? I would have to feign ignorance about this topic because I needed to keep it a secret. Rather than waking up and being forced to lie to join the conversation, it was much easier to just sit here and pretend I was asleep to keep, listen, uh, keep listening in on their discussion. Wait, why did I have to pretend to be asleep while eavesdropping on my friend's conversation? The guilt. Stun. Onikakushi? <laughs> Kakushi? To be hidden away by a demon? What a mysterious phrase. I did, however, get the feeling it meant nothing good. いや、何せよ。もう一人いるんだよね。だよね。親城様なら。ね。でもでも今年はてないよ。バッチャとソンチョさんが話してたんだけどさ。今年は事前に警察と話がつけてあるらしいんだよ。何が起こっても騒ぎにしないで穏便に片付けるって。じゃあ、レナたちが知らないだけでどこかで誰かがかもしれないってこと。かもね。次はレナかな。安心しなよ。Amidst the uncomfortable mood, both of them went silent. The entirety of the conversation was still a bit unclear, but a few parts caught my attention. First of all, the term onikakushi, to be demoned away. By the context it was used in, I would guess it's similar to being spirited away. I suspected that was what it meant because Tomotake-san and that woman, it really bugged me that I didn't know her name, vanished after the Watanagashi. The next thing that stuck out was when Rena said, there's another one, right? Mion also said, if it's Oyashiro-sama's, yeah, a quote responding to something. If it's Oyashiro-sama's curse, then there had to be two victims. Is that what she meant? Come to think of it. I remember Mion saying at the beginning that they didn't know if it was from the curse or if it was a case of ok Onikakushi. It seems that the curse and being deemed away are two different things, and they were phenomena that were paired together. I recall Tomotake-san's terrible end. 
That wasn't something as elegant as disappearing. That horrendous end would best be described as cursed. Then, the woman with him. It means she vanished because she was demoned away. What I do know is that there's a normally an even number of victims and the curse proper. And the last point that bothered me was Rena. Rena was frightened. For what reason, I didn't know. However, she knew that something had made her a potential target for Oyoshiro-sama's curse. If I recall correctly, Oyoshiro-sama should be the demon guardian deity of Hinamizawa. Probably a demon, though. <laughs> Isn't a guardian deity supposed to defend the citizens and drive out invaders? If I recall correctly, yesterday Uishi-san said that originally the targets were enemies of the village, but recently there was no longer any distinction between them or regular outsiders. But if that was the case, then I would think that I'd be a more likely target, having moved here more recently than Rena. From her composure, I could infer that she was grimly certain that she would be next. I should probably relay what I just heard now to Uishi-san. Informing the police of what I heard here by eavesdropping on my friends while pretending to be asleep. It made me feel terrible. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It raised a few questions and left me with a bad taste in my mouth. Would it be better to not seek the answers to those questions? As I continued to learn more and more, I felt like I had fallen past the point of no return. I would definitely regret this one day. I would definitely regret ever having learned of these events. And now we get the happy music! In the distance, I could hear the ring of the handbell signaling the start of the afternoon classes. Ugh, I couldn't sleep at all. I hastily opened my eyes and raised my head up. It was in that moment that I leaned against the back of my seat. There was a thumbtack stuck to the back of my chair with tape. Rude! Actually, not even rude. Like, that's... you could kill me. Circumstantial evidence was enough. Satoko is literally trying to kill people. Guilty without trial. Capital punishment! I furiously jumped from my seat. And I tripped as if my feet were tangled up. My shoelaces had been tied together. Satoko is really going to go down. The teacher came in right as I was about to pull off my shoes and tackle Satoko. Clomp, clomp. Whoosh, bloof. Not caring one bit, I made her eat a flick to the forehead. <laughs> you put a thumbtack on the back of my seat. I really don't care. How about you tell her not to try killing people? I'll apologize to her if she apologizes for trying to kill me. I saw Satoko stick her tongue out at me. That little brat. In any case, I apologized, even if it was in a completely insincere tone of voice. Damn her, I'll remember this. I sat down after Mion told me to. She'd switched to the class representative mode. You don't want teacher glaring at you. That's not good. With the boring classes finished, school was finally over for the day. Now then, what should we do for our club today? <laughs> what should we do for fun? No guessing. We should play no guessing. Personally, I would like to play game that deduction game one more time. I was hardly able to play it last time because of Oisi-san. Rena and I weren't even able to test out our strategy! No guessing! No guessing! Mion looked over her shoulder as we made eye contact. She slowly tapped her palm with her fist as her face suddenly lit up. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> 
Mion is actually Batman. Which is funny because she's a woman. <laughs> actually, no, she keeps calling herself old man. Old man, Batman. Gotta be the case. Mion left us with that and rushed off to the exit after snatching up her bag. What town? Oh, I thought she wasn't the type to get caught up in such bothersome stuff. There we go. Well, that's what happens when you get a job, Satoko. I see. She was able to pay for that mountain of games with what she saved up from there. Is that what she's calling it? So what now? Pass on the club today? Guys, we're, we're doing laser tag. Laser tag. It was a, the best part of Clonade, so... I opened the club locker and began searching for the deduction game from that ever-growing pile of games. At the very least, I wanted to repay Satoko for what she did during the afternoon break. That's reasonable. Alright, Rika. Hmm, when she says it like that, hmm. Spirited Away, it's beautifully animated, but it surpasses the level, the threshold of weirdness that I can take. Like, Alice in Wonderland is the peak of weirdness that I can handle and enjoy. Spirited Away exceeds that, and I'm just like, this is too bizarre. I get, yeah, I get that the animation is great and it's a very unique movie to be sure, but I can't really enjoy it. Let's all go shopping together. It'll be fun. What's this now? Everyone was no longer in the mood for club activities. I kept on, if, I, if I kept on trying to push the matter, it may make them realize I had a trick up my sleeve. Ah, well, I'll give up this time. I shuffled through the cards as if I was still caught up in it. Satoko looked for the cards on the desk and stuck out three of them at me. Well, it's good that I got that out of my system. Did he just, like... <laughs> For lack of a better phrase, did he just bitch slap her like crazy? Normally I'd... Again, normally I'd feel bad, but she literally tried to murder us in our sleep. Everyone got ready to go back home. I also helped gather up the scattered cards. I suddenly paused. They were just the suspect cards, but I noticed something strange. Rena, Satoko, Rika, Keiichi, Mion, Satoshi. What? Who the heck is that? Satoshi? Not all the cards were made by us. Or at least every card besides this one had the name of a club member. Does this mean that the Satoshi fellow is a member? Was there someone in the class named Satoshi? I couldn't find anyone named Satoshi on the class roster stuck up on the wall. 
Being rushed by Rena, I finished up quickly. Satoko and Rika-chan had already headed merrily for their lockers, so we were the only ones left in the classroom. Right now, Rena had already gotten her bag and was ready to leave. Rena, I tried asking Rena in a bit of a roundabout way. Rena made a troubled face and then answered. I like rural. There was a bit of a pause, but the answer was pretty much immediate. Hmm. Is his picture available? I am not sure. Sorry. Her answer was a lot like when she refused to tell me about the murder at the dam. I was saddened by her denial. I felt a little bit of anger. I mean, you pretended to be asleep, so, I mean, come on. I'm their friend, aren't I? Friends don't keep secrets from their friends, do they? Um, yes. There is no way everybody is telling their friends everything about them. No freaking way. You'd never have friends if that was the case. <laughs> Though I do appreciate that they kept that unsettling curse fiend from me. But if everyone is worried about it, I'd rather be worried with them. That's, that's what it means to be friends, right? For a moment, I wondered just what kind of face I was making just then with these mixed feelings and sadness and annoyance. Yeah. <laughs> you see, th you're right, DX. That's absolutely a better way of putting it. Just be like, I'm not comfortable talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did I not know that, Proxima? <laughs> it makes so much sense. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rena. It was probably exactly the face, kind of the kind of face that Rena said it was. It appeared my grim expression had frightened her. Okay, I love how Keiji's Ke like, how dare they're doing this to me? Like, how dare they like just lie to my face? How dare they keep secrets from me? And he's literally doing the exact same thing to them. <laughs> I rustled Rena's hair. Oh, that's cute. I kind of hope that Keiji and Rena end up together. They, bo they both seem to do well together. Dragging that awkward mood with us, we headed home. I wonder why. Why have I been getting this dumb feeling lately? <laughs> it's because you're in a visual novel. <laughs> I didn't know anything. I had nothing to worry about. I was just enjoying my everyday life. My long, outstretched shadow gave no answer to my naive inquiry. I did watch every episode of Tom and Jerry last night. Rena timidly questioned the reason behind my mood. I'm sure my expression made the situation even more unsettling. Physically, I was pretty sure I was in perfect health. It may not seem like it, but I had the perfect attendance since elementary school. Rena continued on like I, uh, since I didn't give her an answer. I've been here for a month! I wondered if Rena also experienced the slight bit of alienation last year that I was feeling right now. Thinking so, I felt that the, she was the only one who could understand how I felt. Feeling I had drawn into the conversation, her face suddenly brightened. <laughs> Oh, 
みーちゃんとかが親切にしてくれたから全然寂しくなかったけど、nice. やっぱり心細かったよ。Rana told me all the details of when she had moved here. All of her first acquaintances and surprises, worries and good times. じゃあ、レナもサトコにやられたのかよ。What is Satoko's problem? うん。椅子に座ろうとしたら、画鋲が置いてあったの。Satoko's trying to either hurt people or kill them. どっさり。そしたらそれを。<笑>懐かしいな。ミオンの部活にはいつ頃誘われたんだ ?Day one! 早速初日にか最初は部活なんてなかったんだよ。Then when did Satoshi end up with the card in there? 放課後にみんなで残ってゲーム大会をやろうって言い出して。Oh, Bobber, somebody's fibbing. そういえば、ミオン、初代部長とか言ってたっけな。納得。内緒だけどね、みーちゃん最初は弱かったんだよ。全然勝てなかった。So she's cheating, basically. I agree, this is sus. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't believe Mion was like that. So she gradually transformed into a monster who used any means necessary to win during that time. Probably because she kept losing, so she, she pulled an Arthur. <laughs> If I can't win without my own pal, I could just cheat. This, this is exactly what's happening. <laughs> Mion is at her best when she's fighting dirty. Well, it's got, it's got to be hard because, like, before I arrived, like, the only person in the village who was Rena's age was Mion. Because Rika and Satoko are noticeably a couple of years younger. And at least when you're, when you're in school, a couple of years younger is a really big deal. <laughs> ケイチ君が引っ越してきてからかな。ようやくここに馴染めたって自覚したのは。I guess Rana had also been in the dark about Oyashiro-sama when she had just moved here. I guess when they finally told me about Oyashiro-sama, I'd be considered one of them. One of them? One of them? 仲間だと認めてもらえるんだろうな。えなんて言ったのあ、いや、ごめん。独り言。Rena was poking fun and laughing at me, and I couldn't help but laugh as well. But I suddenly stopped. Then, after making up my mind, I spoke. Nah, Rena. Minna wa ore ni. Uso ya kak shi goto nanka shite nai yo na. Yeah, we were actually planning a big barbecue party, and we were going to tell you about it, but, uh. It just slipped our mind. <laughs> Rena, you know I love barbecue. Uh -oh. Ooh, wow. Oh, we're just coming out and saying it. Rena suddenly stopped. Her expression was cold and intense. I saw that expression for a second. She kind of glared at us a little bit. But now she just looks sad. Oh, she looks really sad there. Her tone was still the same cheery and lighthearted tone as with the one before. Yeah, oh, there we go. Ooh, intense gaze. After understanding what I meant, her expression grew even more intense. Seeing that face, I regretted saying something so rash. But she came back to me in a way that I did not expect. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, now we... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting into the creepy part. Those eyes. Oh, that's so disturbing. Yeah, this is becoming Doki Doki right now. Her tone didn't change, but it was the first time I'd seen this expression out from Rena. With how her gaze pierced through me, I couldn't believe this was the same Rena. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so creepy! 
Yes! This is what I've been waiting for! Oh, yes! Dude, oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah, this is the thumbnail. This doesn't change art styles, does it? Please let the animation finish first and or close the menu. Alright, fine. Oh my gosh, yes, this is great. <laughs> I mean, she's she's very creepy right now, but it's true. We are keeping something from her, so... You are. Secrets. She didn't actually say that part, but she looked as if she did. The incident with Tomatake-san, and how I fe felt alienated from the group. Even without having to think about it, there were things that I knew that I felt guilty about. But, I didn't tell everyone about what had happened with Tomatake-san, to be considerate. I was keeping it a secret just the same way they didn't tell me about Oyashiro-sama. Then, aren't we even? Why are you lying? <laughs> I'm not lying. That was a lie. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> she knows. She is not... <laughs> Rena has been kind of a bit of a doormat this time, but she is not putting up with us anymore. Her answer was instant, and it shook me. Rena stared as if burrowing through me. Watching me. Like a hawk. Because <laughs> you are! Keiichi-kun, <laughs> Look, Rena, sometimes we have to poop really hard, and it's embarrassing. I swallowed hard. It clearly wasn't a bluff. She knew what happened. Rena knew everything. Why? <laughs> Keiichi, why did you get into that weirdo's car? You don't know him. <laughs> I'm worried about you, Keiichi. She knew that I was called out by Uisi san and I, that I had heard about the incident with Tomatake san as well. Did she know all of it? He was with the police. The lighting in this CG is brilliant. It was a lie. Dude! Why is this? Keiichi's making such a big stink about how mad he is that everyone's lying to him, and he's lying way more! This guy is the worst. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's still the best visual novel protagonist out of the three I've played on Twitch channel. But Phoenix Wright, you are not. Whoa! Freaking it! I was not ready for that! Rena's scream echoed through the trees, sending frightening birds into the air. I couldn't exhale the deep breath I had just taken. No. It was like I wasn't allowed to exhale. It was here, I first realized. The person in front of me. She wasn't Rena Ryugu. Then, who was it that was standing before me now? Who had assumed Rena Ryugu's appearance? I'd held my breath for so long I couldn't feel my I could feel myself suffocating. You can't just smile and laugh that off. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> and then she just made a facial expression that Rena normally might have made. Oh shoot! I didn't get to see the different art styles for when she had creepy eyes. I hope we get the crazy eye sprite again so I can check the sprites for that. It didn't matter that it was Rena's usual smile. It chilled me to the bone. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Honestly, the, her stare is not that creepy in the original art style. It's like her, her eyes are just one color. Whoa. That's so messed up. <laughs> It looks like she's being hypnotized right here. She's just like, oh. This one's the creepiest. The remake art style is the creepiest. The, okay, because in the original, it just looks she's like she's like I don't know, been crying or is just on a, a mild like marijuana trip or something. 
Here, it looks like she's confused and being commanded by someone to do something, but here, it looks like she's, like, staring into the depths of your soul, evaluating you as a human being before she decides if she wants to kill you or not. <laughs> that's, that's my interpretations of these stares. She drew closer to me. I felt her breath against my face. It wasn't the least bit exciting. Whoever this was with Rena's face was going to chew my nose clean off. I cowered as I imagined that. <laughs> okay, yeah! This, the original art style would not be nearly as creepy. It's just like a slight change in her pupils. Okay, that one's pretty creepy as well, but nothing <laughs> compares to this one. Jeez Louise, this is terrifying, and I love... We're finally, finally... I told you guys this game was supposed to be scary. <laughs> I, just, I can't believe it took this long, though. <laughs> hey, Dark Rebellion 34, welcome. Yeah, uh, holy crap, kind of summarizes it. Our uh, cutesy child... Not childhood friend, our cutesy girl from next door is now showing that she's a little bit unhinged. Yikes. She smirked as if she was able to see right through me. It was Rena's usual smile, but her eyes were still like that of a hawk's. Bringing her face close enough to mine to almost bump into my nose, she kindly persuaded me. I couldn't nod or shake my head. This person standing in front of me. This person who looked like Rena frightened me to my core. I was terrified, knowing that she could hear the sound of me swallowing nervously. After what felt like an eternity, after a long, empty silence, she finally spoke. Iko? You can't just shake that off, Rena! You don't make those cute eyes at me again! It was Rena again. Smiling at me once more, she started walking as if nothing at all had happened. When I was released from her gaze, my legs gave out from under me and I slumped onto the ground. I wasn't able to lift a finger until Rena was out of sight. I think that may have been oyashiro sama assuming Rena's appearance. That, or Rena is crazy. And was very good at hiding it. I felt cold. My body was drenched in sweat. I was finally able to form a coherent thought and ask myself once again, that is true. He's only known her for a month. She seemed sincere, though. Who was that person who looked like Rena Ryugu? Well, <laughs> we're finally getting to the good stuff.